In today's video, I want to talk about the new LEGO Star Wars 2023 May 4th UCS said rumor that's been going around, and let's just say it's a lot better than the previous one. Let's talk about it, guys. So you guys, welcome back everyone to another LEGO Star Wars rumor slash leak video, and in today's video, it's a very big one regarding the new LEGO Star Wars 2023 May 4th UCS set, uh, which is confirmed to be 75355. May 4th UCS set for a $240 uh, retail price. So uh, basically the rumor that's been going around for the past couple months or so, you know, I've been a pretty big advocate kind of pushing that rumor, uh, you know, thinking it's going to be probably true. You know, no one's re really ever debunked it. Uh, was the fact it was going to be a buildable Chewbacca in the same vein as say the buildable Porg, you know, buildable R2-D2, and you'll know, come in for that $240 price point. Uh, you know, it was never really confirmed. You know, a lot of speculation was it going to be like a more so bust-like set? Was it going to be actually, you know, torso, legs, and head of Chewbacca you know how was it going to really be you know executed how good it was going to be and uh, you know the overall uh, you know kind of you know presumption of it was no one really wanted that you know a lot of people didn't want it myself included uh, and uh, you know really where that all stemmed from is not from any super reliable source but it's pretty much been the thing going around uh, the rumor mill for the past couple months and no you know nobody's ever debunked it you know so I've kind of run you know run with it a little bit I've you know discussed it you know it's always just been a rumor though uh, and uh, at this current point, it looks like we actually have something brand new uh, for the rumor for May 4th, 2023. And it's looking pretty, pretty likely. I mean, honestly, you know, this sounds a lot more reasonable. Uh, the biggest thing that I was kind of complaining about with the buildable Chewbacca was the fact of uh, 2023 was going to be your know, 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, 20th anniversary of Clone Wars, which, you know, Lego kind of put that on themselves. I don't think any of us would have ever said anything if they didn't, did, you know, didn't do that. So they have those two. They also have Mandalorian season three. Uh, Bad Batch Season 2, technically even like, you know, Remnants of Andor, Ahsoka series. So, you know, they had a lot on their plate this year. And if they were going to waste it on a UCS buildable Chewbacca, I feel like a lot of people would have been very mad at that. But the new rumor right here, guys, which I'll say it right here, then I'll go into pretty much all the speculation, you know, kind of why it's a rumor, kind of where this started from, is a UCS Jabba's sail barge. So... So, you know, basically at that point, what we know, it would be set number 75355, $240 UCS job of sale barge. Uh, no piece count yet. You know, don't know that. So uh, that won't really give us too much of a telltale sign, you know, how large it will be. But I think $240, you know, on paper could work for a UCS sale barge. It would definitely be on a little bit of the smaller end, uh, you know, when compared to, say, a you know, UCS sand crawler. And just kind of overall for what it is, because if we actually take a look at the, uh, the 2013 one here, um, you know, that retail for 120 bucks, and that was just only 850 pieces. And then if we look back at the, the 2000, uh, what, six one here, uh, you know, that was $75, 781 pieces. And, you know, that one actually came with a Jabba's uh, or with a uh, Desert Skiff in there. So, you know, this new one could work for that price point, I guess. You know, you throw us maybe a little bit higher piece count, you know, maybe throw us a 2,500 uh, piece count, give us some, you know, cloth, you know, uh, cloth sales, uh, throw us maybe six or seven minifigures in there, and uh, that could actually work. So basically where all this rumor stemmed from was a brick clicker actually kind of made it public uh you know yesterday i guess it's been going around for a week or two kind of in some of the more uh leak kind of chats you know some of the guys that are kind of you know in the know and uh, basically where it publicly stemmed from initially was minifigure dreams which is a pretty prominent seller over on uh, instagram and whatnot uh, he posted a picture of a max rebo minifigure and he pretty much just said rebo there and uh you know him you know knowing him is you know minifigure dreams you know look i'll be straight up he's a big uh seller of factory parts you know the big mexico factory scandal that i've been kind of talking about uh you know for better or for worse he is a big seller of that uh you know i know myself i used to know him a lot better you know i used to buy from him also uh i also bought a uh an early snoke from him back in 2017 so those you know last jedi sets were coming out uh you know that october november whatever and I bought that Snoke from him in like June. So he's been doing it for like five years or so. Again, you know, at the end of the day, how that sways your opinion on him, that's kind of whatever. But, uh, you know, basically everything he sells is just from the factory. You know, stuff that's in production, stuff that is able to be made by the Mexico factory people. And it's looking like Max Rebo might be back in circulation. So the only thing that's kind of, you know, questioning about that is it's the exact same one from 2013. So... You know, like we kind of know Lego Star Wars, uh, you know, for the most part, there have been some things, you know, say the B1 battle droid that we've had, you know, the same for 24 years now. There's been some other things that, you know, say Lego takes a three or four year gap and they bring it back, uh, you know, Inquisitor Hilt, you know, that was, you know, roughly eight years they brought it back. Uh, you know, Max Rebo, you know, look, there's not too much more they could do you know, for Max Rebo, you know, production or, you know, mold wise, you know, I think it's pretty much perfect, you know, short legs works for him, you know, I don't think they have to, you know, make medium legs, I think the actual mold for the head is perfectly fine, uh, you know, will it be the exact same minifigure from, you know, 10 years ago, that's basically what it's looking like, if, if this rumor is true, so it all stemmed from that, and, uh, you know, look, just bottom line of it too, you know, a Return of the Jedi set, and, you know, especially, you know, original trilogy, if they're gonna kind of take any of those anniversaries or shows, 
you know, knowing Lego, of course, they would probably go original trilogy route. And a Jabba sail barge definitely makes sense. I mean, it's been a long time since the last one, 10 years. Uh, you, I think it definitely warrants a UCS set. I think it's something very nice for a change. You know, it's not part of the Rebel fleet. It's not just some kind of random one-off thing. It's not some super big, you know, $600, $700 vehicle that we don't necessarily need. Uh, as much as I still do think, I think 240 might be a little low. I think you know, maybe 350 for this would have been a good price point for it. Uh, you know, no rumors on the minifigures yet, but presumably at this point, another reason why I'm personally going to be backing this rumor for a while until I hear otherwise would be the minifigures. Uh, selection could actually kind of cover up and kind of help out what the Jabba's throne room diorama set does not have. So, you know, of course, you know, look, if they come out with a new Jabba, you know, mold, uh, you know, probably gonna be the same mold, just different print. They're going to use that for the throne room and also the sail barge here. And then another thing they could do is, you know, they're going to go just sail barge route. Um, you know, that's where we get CR. Again, this is very controversial. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. But if they were to do it, you know, a big UCS, you know, 18 plus set, would be the place to do it. They would give us our Slave Leia, if they're gonna actually go through that and give us another Slave Leia in an actual you know, bikini outfit or not. Uh, that's also where we can see Max Rebo. And uh, another big thing too, that's where we can see um, you know, possibly Salacious B. Crumb, you know, since it's not going to come out in the diorama set, you know, they could be saving that, uh, whether it's the same mold or not, they could be throwing that in a more premium set to, to kind of fill in that minifigure void. And then, of course, you know, if they do give us a little desert skiff, which I don't think they would, I think, again, for that kind of low price point and presumably low piece count, if they start throwing in an extra 200 piece desert skiff on the side, I think some people probably would not like that. Um, but nonetheless, you know, it could definitely give us some of those minifigures and fill in that void that the throne room's not giving us. And nonetheless, again, it makes sense. You know, look, I mean, I've said before, you know, if it was a UCS buildable Chewbacca, I would have not bought it. And if I did buy it, I would have probably just like literally walked out of my Lego store and just like threw it over like the, the railing of my mall and just like walk out. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't, I don't like it. I would have never, never liked that. Uh, even from, you know, even if it was a different year, you know, that's just not something I feel like people need. I mean, Lego has literally probably like 10 original trilogy stuff they could still make uh you know 25 prequel things you know, even probably two or three sequel trilogy stuff that people would rather have than a ucs buildable chewbacca but at this current point that's looking like might be the rumor you know i'm gonna sit here and kind of say until we hear otherwise uh you know just based off of sources as well again i kind of confirmed with uh you know brick clicker is a pretty prominent source that's what he you know that's pretty much his prediction what he's kind of thinking and i think we all know he probably even knows a little bit more than what he's actually leading on that he knows and then i've also confirmed in a little group chat i'm in uh they they kind of agree with everything he's saying and i've actually confirmed with a very close friend of mine that i know for a fact would not be uh you know bullshitting me or lying to me or just making me say this you know make me sound like an idiot uh you know he actually said himself too like look i mean his sources which are very prominent you know a couple of the big guys in the game uh are saying look every all the you know signs are leading to a ucs sail barge and uh, that's pretty much it for this video guys that's pretty much the rumor right here uh do you guys think we'll be getting a sail barge or a buildable chewbacca or something else definitely let me know down below let me know your thoughts and uh, what minifigure selection would you guys like to see there uh do you guys think 240 dollars would be too low for it do you think they should have maybe marked it up to 300 maybe 350 and uh basically yeah that's the rumor guys and i have an lbs response coming out later today uh, if you guys have any more questions for me be sure to leave them uh, you know in that video and i'll get to them you know, a couple days from now and also i'll be doing a live stream tonight too uh live stream tonight in about uh 10 hours or so after this video is published i want to be talking about pretty much going over every single new spring set and summer set and pretty much just chatting with you guys uh going over rumors predictions kind of what we think will happen and to kind of see where we're at you know what do we think about these new sets coming out and uh, that's all for today guys thank you guys all so much for watching uh please leave a comment and subscribe uh, stay tuned for you guys later bye guys and stay safe